Hi, I'm Daniel, and it's Asheville Weekly, episode 102. It's Monday, and I'm in the yard. Um, the air condition is just getting serviced. It's a dusty environment, and people service their aircon once a year, but I think we service ours between three and six months because it's very dusty. When it's cleaned out, it should be working a lot better. I've arranged some training uh, for the concrete drivers. Our Volvos, of course, are a different chassis because the other ones are Scania's, but the actual gear on the back, the volumetric gear, is a different company. We're not as familiar with it as we are the Rymer stuff. So the company that made it, I've paid them to come down tomorrow and offer training. So they're gonna do half a day with one set of the drivers and then the other half a day with the other set of the drivers so they can all go out and still get the work done. I'm doing this so they can educate us on how to use it properly, even though we are using it, and how to maintain it and look after it so we don't keep getting damages and at one point I think that we even put the wrong hydraulic oil in it. We didn't. Somebody who um, supplies us with oils and does hydraulic pipes for us, they told us the oil to put it in, we put it in there. But we ain't gonna blame them because we should have known what to put in there. We put the wrong oil in and it made a couple of the seals go because it's meant to be 32 and we put something else in it. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Michael O'Donovan. <laughs> This man, yeah, he's, he, just, he just won't leave people be. You know when you poke the bear? He can't leave Yanni alone. He's got to go after him and say something. We were doing this 90 years ago, putting plastic on cars. Look at this, look. And you've only started it last week. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gets a response or somebody says something, he's going to say that we bullied him and people are coming over from Ireland to come and do me something. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this guy. <laughs> Bit of maintenance on this lorry. This had a blowout on uh, Friday and when the tire blew out it damaged the backlight and it damaged the wing so we're just straightening up the wing uh, sorting out the backlight and it has a bigger problem than that uh, the light in the cab that tells you when the auto locking on the back when it's open and closed it's not working the trouble with that is if you're in the lorry and you don't know if your door is open or not and you tip up you can throw the lorry over so the driver needs to know when that door is locked and when it's unlocked but we believe it's a broken wire. How are you gonna find a broken wire going through this lorry from front to back? That's long, and that's what we're gonna be looking at now. Uh, the other thing we did was, if you see the blocks all up and down the body, we just untightened them, readjusted them, and we refitted them, because if you look at the body here, they were all a bit off center. The new um, water pump is here, and we've already put our two inch connections on it. Uh, here's the in with the valve, uh, here's the out. Uh, we've put a plate on it this time, so we distribute the weight a little better and it's got a better fixing. Uh, but Bartek needs to come into the yard because uh, I think the other pump is free phase and this one isn't, so we've got to do a couple of additions, but we need to get this on as soon as possible because at the moment it's just working off gravity. Not that we got any water to pump if we're busy. Obviously, there's the important construction stuff to talk about, <laughs> but just to digress and talk about something what clearly isn't important in the grand scheme of things, the van, which is coming for the tire fitter, uh, I've switched it up a little bit. It's plain. It just says Asheville, and, it's, and it will do what it says on the tin. It's the field service unit. No aggregates, no concrete, no construction, because it's going to serve all of the companies. What do we think of this artwork here? Make a couple of changes, slap the four sticker on the back of it. I mean, it's decent. So, do you want to have a look at the list? So, I've got two prices. He requested two prices. One for Control 4, and one just to upgrade his lighting. Before you tell me about pricing changing all his lights, have you chosen a light fitting which is bigger or the same size? Uh, everything is minimum the same size. So here's what I'm worried about. <clears throat> when we go and take these spotlights out, what happens when the ceiling starts breaking? Yes, that's why I said no making goods. The making goods will be made, done by the other guys, the, the other team he employed to do the ceilings and walls and everything else. So you're saying that we have free reign to take out the light fittings and upgrade the light fittings yeah. and someone else will fix the ceiling? Yes, we know. He is aware as well. That's why he, he's asking for... He wants to do it before the other team arrives. The ceiling will be completely butchered. There'll be holes everywhere. And some, if they're the same size and the we pull out size. them spotlights, they're just going to rip it. How long's that ceiling been there? 20 years? Yeah, some of them you can see that someone was fig fiddling with them already. Okay. So three options just for materials and you can see how, how much it increases from this to this. Yep. And where's our labour cost? Labour cost is over here. This is based... This. For cheap, isn't it? This is based on... You have to do it on... Two skill guys. 
and one labor for how for long? Six days. To change all the spotlights in the whole house? Yeah. How many spotlights in the house? 140. Upgrading 140 spotlights into. Two, for two electricians. Two electricians. Two electricians plus labour cleaning after them. You're talking about taking this out the ceiling, popping it out and connecting a new one and popping it yeah, straight back in. Cutting it out and we're doing mains. So there will be mains, no dimmers. Oh, so there's Sorry. no dimmers? No, no uh, drivers. No drivers. So this is only the light fittings, there's nothing to do with his modules. Nothing, nothing. And what are his new lights? Are they LEDs? What are they? Yeah, LEDs. And what are his existing? The same. It's a combination of halogen LEDs. He's got everything. You do realise once we touch this, the whole thing's our fault, yeah? Yeah, we know, but um, that's what Bartek spent with me a couple of hours last Saturday. How long have you priced it at? Five yeah. days? Six days, whole week. So basically Monday to Saturday? Yeah. For free, guys. Okay. I've got to go with what you're saying. Have you made it clear in here that we're still not doing the decorating or there's no cables running this one? I will on the email as well and I'll put a note over there. That's specifically for what he requested. This cost was for the, for the first option with all the cables and so on. But how, how long are we saying for the second, for this new option? Five days. No Sorry. way. No way. No way. No way. No way. It's so much easier. <laughs> We're talking about a building job, and Will is telling me after his one job here yeah, that I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what this, what's going to happen with this job. It's going to go so well. No job goes well. There is I no just, job that I can goes just well. I feel it in my bones. It's going to go great. Your bones are very young, bro. Yeah, like this, and like, weak maybe. Got to remember, Wilson. When you price a job, you have to price the servicing for that job after it, mm -hmm. because people will be calling you once you take someone's money yeah. that person for them theoretically they own you yeah sure. and and we want people to be happy they will be calling mm -hmm. even if it's them who don't understand or don't know sure. they will be calling yeah. yeah and we have to pick up the phone and we have to go back as many times as possible yeah sure. you will not go and do something and walk off into the sunset yeah uh, that will not happen sure yeah? This is construction, or in this case, home automation. Hold on. Um, Terry? Dave is coming down now anyway. Yeah. He's coming down. All right, all right. Have a meeting. A few job prices which are going out. Um, everything is on plan for the morning. What's the matter with you, Wayne? <laughs> Dave is taking the mic and we can, we can hear him rustling down the stairs. But hopefully you can't hear that deep breathing that you normally hear. Do you want me to move now, yeah? You can hear that Darth Vader. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's talking about moving his car, is he? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tuesday morning and I'm in the yard. And as you can see today, I'm wearing that QPR Asheville get up there. When I put this on earlier, I turned my swag up like 5,000%. And QPR even did like the DAL there, you know, like the players have, just so like I look like I'm one of the team. We have a lot going on today. Will is on site and the containers are arriving and it's time to set that site up so we can start working properly. Back in the yard, this grab lorry, it was parked up and we heard a And on closer inspection, uh, it revealed that one of the brake chambers was leaking. So we can't go on the road like that, so we've called Scania and Scania are gonna come and fix it here. That's it. 
be able to still buy for the eight dollars. I think so. No. The guys have arrived to train um, the lads on the Volvo concrete lorry. So the, the Armcon unit on the back, we need to train them just so we can look after them, use them and maintain them properly and stop any damage happening. Keeping that running, absolutely soaked. It's a place for I got the updated artwork back. If you have a look here, I made a couple of small changes to the van. Yes, it's only a slight change, but I like it a lot better now. I'm happy and this is nice and simple. I like it. And if I flip over here, the uh, 13 tonner, which is technically 17 tons, um, we have the artwork for it here, the new Asheville artwork. I'm liking that as well. And for once, I had no changes on any of the artwork that I was doing. Bartek is in the yard today, and uh, we're not connecting um, the bag implant yet. The thing that I spent loads of money on that we've generated absolutely no revenue from, we're not connecting that because uh, that would make sense. What we're doing is we're trying to replace the water pump when we don't actually have water when we get really busy. That's because I do everything as it should be done, because clearly my mind is straight. But it's not straightforward. Um, because it is single phase and the previous one was free phase. But Bartek has worked out what he needs to do. He needs to go to a store and buy something and um, change something within the board. And then that should work. Hopefully, hopefully. Last week I had an export of the revenue in aggregates and this week I had an export of the revenue in concrete. Um, but I'm trying to break down the revenue into different tabs. I want to know exactly how much we make in each area. So it's not as simple as just looking at the revenue from concrete. I want to see how much from concrete, I want to see how much from deliveries, I want to see how much from screed, how much from line pumps, how much from cross hire and boom pumps, how much from concrete blocks, how much from weight in time, how much from admixtures. I want to see every single line if I can see each line individually I can see where we're most busy I can see where we're lacking and then we can address those accordingly we've done the same in aggregates but it just requires a little bit of teaching in the office because whenever someone puts something on the system they have to assign uh, they have to assign that item to that revenue tab so it feeds through at the end just requires a little bit of training but once it's in with the new digital system uh, we should have that information coming out so it can be exported to me once a month so I can see exactly how well or not well we are doing. In other news, and this is in no particular order, trains arrived. But as this is Asheville Weekly 102, there are no train montages. Let's show a little pan of that train. Sorry guys, that's where it is. We need to keep that work down so we can continue with the standalone videos. The lights, what we haven't been using a lot, all the LED lights you see everywhere, the sensors, what go off once people walk past them, all the batteries and all of those units are dead. So Bartek's gonna go around and he's gonna replace them today and he's gonna make a list of exactly what he needs for the bag implant and hopefully we can start connecting up the bag implant tomorrow. We can train some of the lads and we can finally start using it. I have a Zoom at one o'clock. I was meant to go somewhere for three o'clock, but we're speaking to someone about the business development role and they're coming in at three o'clock, so I've canceled my plans and um, I'm gonna do that instead. And that's it for now. I've got things doing. Uh, just finished my commercial um, meeting with the potential new um, business development guy and um, I think I'm gonna give him a go. Um, it's his second interview and he actually came in the door with a plan of what he was going to do and he had a backup to that plan and he had reason and logic to back it up and he said where he believed he could stumble and he said where he believed he could add value and he went through the contacts he's already got and he went through what he sold them because um, he hasn't exactly done um, skips, concrete, um, bagged aggregates but yeah, I was impressed because a lot of the time people uh, want to come here and they want me to tell them what to do so he has a plan and then he just wants information from me and Terry and if it's not working he'll adapt 
and he had a plan of how he's going to attack um, what we're doing, as in work on the local work first, because there's plenty of work here, and then expand out as you're going. So a lorry that's leaving the yard and running up and down the A40 or the M4 or run, going around the 25 doing four load a day, if we can get local work, that lorry will then be doing six loads a day. So I thought it was a good plan. I thought it was well thought out. And the fact that he did all of that thinking over the weekend, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to give him a go. Let's hope he can be successful. And I even told him the dates when I'm going to travel, which isn't far now. And he was thinking of starting on the 1st of October, but now he said he'll start before that, just so he can get to spend some time with me. So hopefully, you never know. You never know how it goes with these things, like when people actually start. So you never know. Maybe it could be a valuable addition to the team, which is something we need at the moment. Speaking of additions to the team, Mercedes have dropped us off a, a test lorry for us to drive around. It's a skip lorry, and we're rather busy on skips. So it is a fantastic time for us. But it's got one of those bin cabs on it, like the low entry. So we're going to have to be careful in the yard because there are a couple of big dips in the yard. They're like reverse speed bumps, like a hole that you have to drive into. And we have to watch the roll on roll off sometimes because sometimes like the front of it does brush against the floor. But you know, we're going to give the Merc skip lorry a test, uh, see how it goes and see if it makes a massive difference having the vision. You know, on our skip lorries, we've got the London door, the glass door. So we're gonna see if driving that lorry, see if the drivers feel like they have more vision, uh, see if they feel they can get around as much, or, you know, I'd like to test it against what we're doing and run it alongside them. Now it's time to go down to the video room for a watch through of a video that's meant to go live at five, but it's 16.14. So it definitely won't be going live at five and the video's an hour. It's gonna be another long day. It's Wednesday and I'm in the yard. And Will has just told me he got some decent bits of the bagging plant being set up. Uh, Bartek is over there working away. I know we had a few problems in the beginning. Uh, the belt wasn't moving. I think it was too tight. We had to do some slackening on the belt and then had to do some adjusting. Everything works this year. I spoke to Liebert earlier about the LH60 arm again, and they are waiting for a part. I am told it will be in the country any day, and then uh, they can do the work on the LH60. As you see from yesterday, I have the artwork for the new machine. I have the funding approved for the new machine, and I am not being difficult, and I'm not being out of order, but before I take another machine, I think it's fair that we fix the existing machine that I have. What do you think? Do you think that's fair? Or do you think I should let it continue and then continue and continue and then get another machine? You look older than me. I feel much older than you. I've heard you've waved the white flag like the sticker man. I wish I had. I think you have, because I've got the better of the two of you. And you have had to throw the towel in, because you are not as tough as the O'Donovan family. <laughs> I'm not sure how that can be. Because your sister sold the firm and then your sister dropped me a message telling me she wasn't happy with me. Telling me to stop telling people that she sold the firm. Now, why is our sister messaging me, Daniel, stop saying I sold the firm? And when I'm saying, I spoke to Michael about it, she's sending me an emoji that I'm boring. What, why is that, Michael? Any ideas why our sister's not happy with me? No, I don't know she's not happy. She's happy with me. She laughs every time she sees us on. She thinks it's very good the way we gel. Ah. I see you're saying that you've gone home early. How nice for you. I have gone home early today because the old pressure come on. The pressure of the tyres of the car were going flat, so we had to get home and pump them up. Really? It's all right for some, isn't it? Well, how's your week been? Just went on. Uh, up to so far, I've been a complete and utter disaster. All right. Good day okay. at the show. Good day at the weekend at the show. It was a very good show. Met a lot of your fans up there. I suppose you flew the flag for me. I did indeed. As long as you weren't waving a white flag. 
I said, everything I do, he does. So everything he's got is what I've got. Yeah. I said, the only thing he hasn't managed to buy himself yet is a, a posh man's Range Rover. He's still in the poor man's one. So but I said, we're working on that now. Hey, right, listen, mate. <laughs> if what's mine is yours, mate, I'm coming around to that farm to build my house, mate. I, I, there's, there's a nice little spot in the corner of that farm where I can plop up a house of mine. With them little puppies that go around chasing sausage and chasing their tail all day, um, anyone who comes in in a Range Rover is in trouble, but not me, because I drive a poor man's Range Rover, so I'll be all right, won't I? Yeah. He'd probably leave the wing alone on that, wouldn't he? <laughs> I can't believe you abused your motor so much. I didn't abuse my motor. Well, that's what it's for. If I can't do that in my motor, then what Then what did I buy a Defender for? I've got to say 10 out of 10. When the wheels come off the ground, it still kept going, didn't it? It did, it did, it did. So have I got your, your seal of approval from that, yeah? yeah? I think it's a very good motor, to be honest with you. Even though it's got plastic inside it. It's not, it's actually rubber, so I can jet wash it all, actually. <laughs> Some of us do a day's work and then get mud in the car. That's the problem. No comment on that one. I'm just pulled in on the drive now. I'm just going out the back to speak to my staff out the back, my groundsman. You don't, you don't have, you, you don't have groundsman, Michael. <laughs> well, you, you've got a, you've got a little pond with a net over it to stop the dog getting at the fish, and you've got two old ponies at the back. I don't, there, there is no groundsman. Daniel, Daniel, we have groundsmen here. We, this is a. It's a big estate. This is like um, Windsor Castle, yeah? Well, I thought I was there. So what did I ring you today? Well, I was going to ask you something today now, and I forgot what it was. Call me back when you remember. Stay on the phone. And that's it right. from MOD for today, guys. I'm looking only. Oh. I'm looking only there. Uh, back back in the yard, I'm having a meeting uh, with David and Bartek and Will. Um, about a project. Control 4 job, which I believe is going ahead and upgrade to an electrical system. But the QPR uh, training wear has arrived, the framed one that matches this. And I'm moving my YouTube plaque. I've moved my YouTube plaque, I'm going to put it somewhere else. I'm going to put it on the other wall um, and leave enough space that when the million plaque comes, that I can put it next to it. Every single light fitting we've got, is it bigger? than the old one. Yeah, that's the... Slightly bigger. Slightly, slightly bigger. So I haven't got to worry about pulling the other one out and damaging the... Ho and the slightly bigger, yeah? Some of them already damaged, yeah. Who's doing repairs in the ceiling? The other team. That's what I said. We, we're going for bigger one, and I've sent in the quote. We're not doing any making mm. goods in any areas. Really? Regardless. Yeah, I've said this. I was clear on two emails. Clarify it again. Yeah. Just clarify it, please. But we, d we don't want grey areas where people, oh, I thought it was covered and it's not, and then we look like the bad guy. I need you to clarify that, yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah, add four days for all three of them, because that basically cut one day of scratching the chin and standing around and looking and trying to fish, fish things. Another day, another day to try to run the cable. Why are you laughing, Bartek? I'm just listening to what you say. Well, yeah, one day to scratch the chin and say, mm, 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 this could be a good idea. Mm, mm. So Bartek and Will can... One day to find problems. Yeah, one day to find po problems and read the instructions. Bartek and Will standing around. <laughs> and two hours of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. One day to find out what's going on and try and run the cables. Mm. Another day, Peter could be outside doing these holes around the... Um, to put these new units on, hopefully they're bigger. Are the units bigger, the Control 4 ones? Talk about the intercom. Yeah. No, it's smaller. Our one's smaller? Yeah. So I said this, I said resin, the, the render will need to be made good or... I don't I'm not worried about you sorting it out. I'm worried about you sorting it out when there's no money left in the job. And we're trying to, that's what I'm worried about. I know, I know you'll sort it out. You need to make it clear that no making good, no external making good, Internal or external making good has been priced. And we would like to start this job before the 10th. Mm -hmm. Because, I need you to explain this. In critical timeline, mm -hmm. we can't start doing work on the same day as the person who's doing the repairs and doing it. We can't start on the same day. We need to start and we need a head start so they start after us. You have to explain them. Mm -hmm. Explain critical path. That, that's not going to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like him, but I don't like him that much. You can wear his stuff in the yard. O'Donovan stuff only. Change, please. You can now come in now. You've got the proper colours on. You've got the... Yes, I like this. Yeah, I'll let you have a proper O'Donovan badge. 
We're stripping everything out of this van, preparing it for trading. So we've taken off the beacons, we've taken off the LED panel we put here, uh, and we've taken out the toolbox. Uh, we took out the compressor a long time ago, it's the compressor that you see over there. There are a few other bits that we need to take off it as well, but we're going to leave these locks on. If we try to rip these locks off, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave the van in a terrible state, and whoever they sell it to at auction won't be able to do anything with it. Something embarrassing. <laughs> it happened last night. Hang a lane roundabout in the middle of rush hour, the grab breaks down and it's holding that back the whole of Hangar Lane roundabout. Do you know how many people sent me pictures of it? And Scania had to send someone out to recover it. One of those things that can't be helped, no driver error, nothing. The gearbox went. Uh, the lorry went into eighth gear and never came out of it. And the police went behind the lorry and, they were and Terry was talking to them and they were saying, if you don't move this within half an hour, we are going to move it and then you're going to pay us to move it and you're going to come and collect it from where we take it. But luckily Scania managed to take someone out and it is now back at Scania Heathrow and I don't know when we're getting it back. And we now have a cement delivery. Is it the Jim's one then? Why say that? Mark Smith come back in here. Daniel's down at the BBC. I said, <laughs> is he? <laughs> he said, yeah. I saw his car down there. I said, all right, okay. <laughs> I was swimming. Was ya? No, sorry, let me not say I was swimming. You was in the I, water. I, I went to the swimming pool and I went from one end to the other. Yeah. That, I don't think that counts as swimming. With varying degrees of success, yeah? Yeah, with varying degrees of success. But one thing is for sure, I didn't stop and I burnt a lot of calories. Where swimming I... is a really good calorie burner, but you see the only problem is, yeah? Mm. When I start getting out of breath and then yeah. the water starts hitting me in the face, I start to like, I'm not very you know comfortable. What? That is the trouble with, with, with being in a pool. The water is going to go in your face. That is the trouble with I it. I know. I found that today. I know, but when you're out of breath and then it's splashing you in the face, I'm a bit like, it starts to get a little bit. What, what I've realized swimming is that when people try to teach me to swim who are good swimmers, they say, take a breath every second stroke. Yeah. I have to take a breath every stroke because the more muscle you have, the more oxygen you, the need. More oxygen you need. So it slows me down, but if I take a breath every stroke, then I can continue. But what I can't do imagine is do this. Imagine if you proper hench as well. Im imagine if I actually went, do you even lift, bro? Im imagine <laughs> if I even lifted, bro. It's uh, <coughs> Saturday and we're in the yard and um, Terry's played a bit of musical chairs. Uh, the commercial manager starts on Tuesday, and Terry decided, in his infinite wisdom, to just swap desks so Terry can see who's coming in. If you flash back to the mess that was on Terry's desk previously, <laughs> this man saw it out of the mess and threw away everything. So all the paperwork that sat on his desk for two years that he needed, he didn't actually need any of it. He dashed all of it away. And then next week he's gonna go, has anyone seen this paperwork? Has anyone seen that paperwork? <laughs> well, the paperwork's gonna have sat there for two years. No one's asked a single question about it. And then someone's gonna ask me something <laughs> mm. <laughs> to do with a piece of paperwork that was on mm. my desk that I hadn't looked at for nine months. And so I'm not gonna hear the answer. Terry's moved himself over there. We've given this, I'm not gonna lie, we haven't given this desk a clean. We need to wipe this desk yeah, down. Give it a clean in a bit. For the new gentleman that's starting, we've set up his emails. His phone is sorted. His laptop arrives on Tuesday. Everything he needs is in place for him. Um, I won't be here uh, Tuesday morning, but he had a meeting with myself, he had a meeting with Terry, and then he called me back last night at six o'clock when I was dropping Terry home, because I refused to let Terry drive yet. And he was telling me about a meeting that he wanted to place um, next Friday for a big order that he was already trying to work on, which is promising. You might notice that man's wearing another Asheville QPR training top, but you might think this is the one from before. This is the different get up right here. This is the one without the hood. It looks similar, but it's not the same. But of course they've got the DAL there like they marked it up like the players and that. Let me just give you a little spin. If you just look, see it there? Yeah, this is the other one. Do we like this one or do we like the one with the hood and the zip on the front? I don't know. That The thing is, when you're in my position, you could just rotate them. I haven't even started. I've got a stack of them like that. The only ones I won't wear here are the white ones, because Terry doesn't keep the office clean enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> have you got your initials there just in case you get a call up? Yeah, in case I get a call up to the QPR you got, first team. Have you got your boots and shin pads in the car? No, do you know what it is? I've got it there because in the changing room in case somebody nicks mine. You know when you're at school <laughs> and you have to put your name in your clothes? Oh, now I was the biggest you in the whole school and nobody could wear my clothes anyway. <laughs>
You might, see, you might see me walking around the QPR top next week with DAL on it. Yeah. <laughs> and say, this ain't even yours. <laughs> David today is working from our new build job. So um, we haven't connected the electric, but um, his laptop is fully charged and we're going to put some Wi-Fi there so the office is fully operational. And um, Bartek has made his list of the electrical items he needs. Now, I wanted Bartek to connect the containers up on Tuesday, but he can't because Bartek is going to the basement salvage because the NIC, EIC, we've come round to our assessment. So they actually want to go down to a project that we've done and have a look so they can still ensure that we are following the letter of the law and we're still who we say we are and we're still good, um, we're still good contractors, which of course we are but it's slowing me down a little bit, NIC, EIC. That is a lot more regular. The gas one, I think Chris, I think Chris has to redo his gas, his gas safe stuff every five years, I think Chris does it. But the NIC has come round soon. So Wednesday, Bartek will go and connect everything. And then we're gonna increase the amount of people on site. Uh, we're gonna start down in the basement. We're gonna completely demolish everything. Then we're gonna go to the first floor and we're gonna demolish. And then we're gonna work our way up. But then we're gonna start doing the structure in the basement. We're not going to hit every single structure at the same time because we don't need to. Uh, we spoke to the engineer and that's the best way to go about it. On the ground floor, that is the main work. We're going to tackle that next, but I don't think we've got enough acros and our temporary support work we've got to do. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of thinking around it, but we need to put horsepower into that job. You start a job and you think, oh yeah, man, I've got ages to do this. Every day you lose at the beginning of the job is one more day at the end of the job that you are going to find yourself in problems and you're going to find yourself scrambling around. So we need to put pressure and horsepower into the job from day one. Isn't it, Terry? That is correct, Daniel. Oh, now Terry didn't give Dudek the skips he wanted and Terry is making the job late already. Ah, oh, listen to this. Listen to it. Are you getting upset? <laughs> I'm just, I'm not getting upset. I'm getting upset. all these false allegations. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking. We did, you, we had one today, innit? Skip exchange. That was on yesterday. Oh, look at that. I need to be at QPR in a couple of hours. Uh, got a real mix of guests there. I have a company, company similar to ours, but a lot bigger. Uh, they're popping down with some of their team. I have a football agent that you've seen in the past, my friend Paul, I grew up with. I have his brother coming uh, with my other godson. Uh, another company that do a lot of utility work. Those lads are going down, so it's a, it's a nice mix. It's good to have a, uh, a, lot, uh, a mix of people so everyone can interact. It's not just about, I don't know what's going to happen if the company to do utility and the other large company, they might just cut me out of it and just start, start doing work together. And then, and then, and then, and Very then, counterproductive. Yeah, it might be counterproductive, but what can I do in it? Like, if, if, the, if I can lose work like that by inviting two people to the same place, it was never my work in the first place, in it? So you never know. Maybe we can all do something together. Now, Terry just goes to me, do I like his cabinet? Man, clapped my cabinet. I did, it came with the desk. As not far as not only did you clap my cabinet, but my certification and certificates are in here. What have you done in here? What phones? No, yeah, yeah, but. What, the, what? The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that is my. <laughs> Bro, this is my business. I've been yeah. looking for my business cards. Why did you? Why did you just ask? Why don't what? <laughs> Bro, all now I've been looking for my business cards. Nah. Can I just say, three no. years I've been here and I haven't got a business card. You don't need a business card. You're doing the business. <laughs> Can you take your stuff out of my, in my, my cabinet? Is that so? You, look, no, 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 get rid of all that. You're just making a mess now. Is it? <laughs> uh, I'm making a mess. Said the bro who had paperwork for two years, he did nothing with it. Yeah, but it was there for a reason. No, stop touching things. These, these are spit. You don't, oh, whoa, oh my God, the, the, the digi card, the downloader. Yeah, I know that one. But I found it. It doesn't work no, That one doesn't work. That's why we got How it. How do you know it don't work? Because, because who downloads the lorries? <laughs> Simon. <laughs> no, that's mine, though. It's not, all right, is, okay. That's mine. I why is everything in the drawer mine, but this is yours? Yeah, because I bought that with my own money. That's why it's mine. No, 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 no. no you're trying it. I need this. This is this is holders for when you put things in your car, parking permits and stuff. All right. Let me just take this anyway, because you're the shit. Right, okay. Just... Mug shots for some shady looking character. Yeah. Just some. <laughs> that's what R&B love songs right there. 2008. Yeah. <laughs> He, right, what's all this, he didn't man? make it past 2009 because anyone that wears jeans on the beach don't get, don't get in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> no shirt and jeans on the beach. And wonders why I don't get the call up for the third year on it. 
<laughs> oh, bro, if they bailed, if they bailed me, yeah, I wouldn't be replying to that anyway. I think some deep displacement. Chief, not this in, is this my cup? No, <laughs> it's definitely not your cup. That's mine. Thank you. Which one's your personal phone? That one. That's my personal phone. That's the phone that you couldn't wait to give back to me after I come back from holiday. <laughs> so you don't want to take that. Do you know what? While I'm here, I'm going to talk about something. Yeah? Terry is going for a stage. Yeah? Am I? Yeah. <laughs> well, like a toddler. <laughs> it's, it's just a phase. <laughs> Terry's going for a phase. If you flash back, there was a day when Terry came to me and Terry took a phone off me. Yeah? And he was going to do the transport and he said, look, I'm going to alleviate you of this stress. And Terry said, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take that away from me. Now Chimek is trying to learn transport, and Terry's taking an overview, and Terry is slightly struggling to let go. And I know that feeling. But what you gotta do is you've got to kinda let go, but not let go. You gotta let go, but not let go. And pretend you let go when you didn't let go. And blatantly just watch from afar and every now and then just sprinkle your magic on. Like I sprinkled my magic when Terry was doing the transport. But Terry has to learn to let go of um it's your personal phone again mm. push that noise the car. <laughs> <laughs> terry has to learn to let go of that because when he's not in i don't want no one belling my phone asking me about lorries yeah and so he needs chimek when he's not in so chimek can take it over and it will be terry or chimek because one of them things them two people they can't take holiday at the same time so if Chimek and Terry become brethren, you know what that is? That's their own <laughs> business. Because the two of them man will never take holiday together at Asheville. Or they are never allowed to be sick together at Asheville. Bit like Julia and Shane. One of them has to be here. So how are you, how are you getting on with that letting go? Struggling, to be honest. Like, it's not easy, is it? No, it's not easy. No, it's, not. it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. When you put your heart and soul into something for a long time. What, what, did, what did you put your heart and soul into? You know, it's, come on, Daniel. <laughs> come on, Daniel. When I come in and showed you how to do lorries. How this <laughs> prayer, this how? prayer showed me how to do lorries. Listen, man, when Terry came here, he you, have to do keep, you have to keep the essence of how you do things. I understand that, but it's, you know, as progression comes, I, I think I very quickly took over. Bro, let me explain something to you, yeah? <laughs> Kanye passed Jay-Z, yeah? Yeah. But Daniel's son never passed Mr. Miyagi. At 90 years old, Mr. Miyagi will kick down Daniel's son. <laughs> and that's what's happening here. Yeah. I've let you take over and put your magic, but I'm the rude boy for this lorry team. Yeah, okay. Bro, there's no shame coming second to me on my lorries, bro. <laughs> there's no shame. Okay. But, that if I put my hand into the ring in and, the I same way, Daniel. and I lose to Tyson Fury, I can accept that, bro. In the same way, Daniel. Yeah. Just accept that you can, you can come second to me. It's, it's all right. I can come second to you. At, at, well, not fishing, because I'm better than you. Um, <laughs> what can I come second at? I'm trying to... There's lots of things I come second to you at. I don't come second to you on people skills. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll accept that one. No, I, I come to you second on loads of things. Loads of things I come to you second, but not lorries or no, fishing. Okay. Do you know who you are, Tell? You're a better dad than me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got my kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're a better family man than me and you're a better dad than me. And that speaks volumes. How's your leg, bruv? It's getting better, actually. I saw you walk with no crutch yesterday. Yeah, the physio told me you need to start sort of trying to... The physio, to after I told him from time. After you told me what? I told you no driving, but you need to try to keep mobile. The only thing you need to be worried about is walking into this office and walking up and down them mm. stairs. Everything else is secondary. <laughs> everything else is a, is a bonus. Yeah. yeah, everything else is a bonus. And that's it for Asheville Weekly, episode 102. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see an Asheville video you may not have seen before. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 101. Bro, why do I have to look at you to tell you to do it, bro? You should know, innit? Like, it's meant to be like... Ah, oh, Christ. Bro, you should just know, innit, when I go to finish the video, like you've done it enough. It's so much nicer when you're not here.